A worrying trend has started to emerge in the fitness industry. Women are accusing men of being perverts and harassing them for simply looking their way in the gym and posting it online to their hundreds of thousands of followers. Influencers are making fun of new people in the gym, leading to a massively toxic gym culture online. But what if I told you two men alone were working to change the face of the online fitness landscape? To get a real sense of the impact they're having on the community, we need to take a look deeper and why we needed to change. Steroid use has exploded in the UK, with users getting younger and younger. The average age for steroid use is now 20 to 24 years old. From about 2010 onwards, which is the same year Instagram was released, steroid use has increased year on year with no signs of slowing down. TikTok has also had a meteoric rise as well as a subculture of gym talk. People originally use this as a platform to share their progress. They shared different gym meals and recipes which have helped them along in their progress. Some of these were good and the majority of these are still positive. However, a dark culture has started to form and they are making fun of the new guys mocking their form or just recording them in the gym. Also, they can get views and likes on TikTok. Yeah, tomorrow getting all up in them people away, using all their damn machines, knowing good and well you ain't gonna be there by two weeks. Make it make sense. For people who are new to the gym or are just trying to get into shape, it's massively discouraging to see people posting and laughing about them online. A more serious issue is that girls have started sharing clips of them recording themselves in the gym, calling out guys who are just training in the background, accusing them of being perverts. I hate this, I hate this, I hate when there's weirdos. It's me so uncomfortable. Feral, 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 like fucking feral. This leads to moments such as this one. One, because they feel uncomfortable and don't want to be in the back of some influencer's video. And two, they've got a genuine fear of being called out and allegedly staring at people. This is a real issue. Some of these influencers have millions of followers and someone will probably recognize a bloke in the back of the video. There are women genuinely being harassed in the gym. These videos aren't that. It's a trend people on Twitter have started to take notice of. And honestly, I feel the exact same way. From mocking January gym goers and just sharing their clips to filming people actually getting changed after a workout, gym culture online started to go downhill. That was until two men made a name for themselves on the platform and wanted to make a real positive change in the community. And the Joey Swole and Noel Dazel. Noel Dazel, aka Daddy, is a South African IFBB pro bodybuilder. In some clips, Noel talks about how he didn't have a father figure growing Since up. Since I grew up with no father, I'm gonna teach you what I had to learn on my own. And how he was very skinny. Again, your hardest struggle in life that you've overcome. I really lack like self-confidence. I'm, what, 6'2", six, 6'3", six, and I used to weigh for most of my life. I was very skinny. I was bullied. There was other camp that would come out. And I, I would run. I know the first YouTube video that we attempted took like three days to film. Really? Because I just, I just could not sit there and address the camera. I was, wow. I was so afraid, I was so scared of the camera. This led him into the gym and become the beast that he is today. He's also very open about his steroid use and has talked in depth about the dangers that fake influencers have on society and the damage it can cause young people and their bodies to hop on anabolics without knowing the consequences or how to properly take them. Memes on TikTok every day about steroids and trend. Where the concern comes in is glorifying their usage, especially to a young, vulnerable audience on TikTok that don't know or understand the long-term side effects. I understand it's a meme and it's humorous, but for a lot of people, it's a serious reality. He brings a lighthearted way of teaching people gym etiquette, which they otherwise may not know. He also teaches young men simple tasks like how to tie a tie, giving them the nickname Daddy. He's honestly a massive breath of fresh air in the gym community, especially in the cesspool that is TikTok. It's no surprise that he gained over 400,000 followers within a few weeks. He's inspired almost a whole generation of young people to just start in the gym and don't be worried about what other people think. He's even said himself that the first time in the gym was an absolute nightmare and that he had had no idea what he was doing. But the first step is to just start. From providing workout plans for free in his videos, to meal plans, and even how to properly pose, Noel is one of the most prominent figures in the gym positivity movement. Next up is Joey Swole, or the CEO of Gym Positivity. So let me get this straight. Joey was one of the first, or at least the most prominent, person to start calling these gym bullies out on the way they behave, which has caused a massive ripple in how people respond to these types of videos. Joey himself has stated that he was previously suffering from depression and an opioid addiction, and he even tried to take his own life. That was in 2020, so around two to three years ago now, and the change that he's achieved in that time frame is immense, becoming one of the most popular fitness influencers on TikTok. Joey's even posted TikToks of his battle to get off opioids. Showing the symptoms of withdrawals, he 
showed his bed after a night of sleeping, which was stained with sweat. Since his battle with drugs, he has been a beacon of light on all social media, making a positive change and advocating for people to live a healthier lifestyle, while putting the toxic influences in their place. This video is exactly why people hate cameras and gyms and why so many people are so afraid, so scared to even step foot in a gym because they think something like this is going to happen to them. He doesn't care who you are, what you look like, what you do. If you act like a dickhead in the gym, Joey will get you. Amiga. Como se puede enojarte cuando tu pones el teléfono? Some of these videos have over 40 million views calling out influencers on the app. Joey himself is also massive, so much so that Arnold himself ran up to get a photo with him. I remember the light comes from there. Okay, well, but we will get the camera going. Guess who I ran into? Joey. Look at the pump. <laughs> Boom! From fake influencers filming themselves in the locker room. This absolutely blows my mind. Why in the world would you ever think it's okay to film somebody changing in the background of your video, nude, and then post it on social media? And even women calling men perverts who have done nothing wrong. Joey Swole is one of the biggest voices in the fitness community. And that is how Joey and Noel are changing the face of the fitness community. I'm sure there are hundreds of other influencers out there spreading a positive message, but in my opinion, these are the most prominent and the best at what they do. If you like this video and you want to see more, click the playlist that's on your screen now, and I'll see you in the next one.